This segment is sponsored by Dennis Goins of DennisGoins.com. Hi, I'm Lady Charmaine, and I'm here with financial advisor Dennis Goins, and he's here today to talk about is America prepared to retire? So how are you doing today, Dennis? I'm doing great, Lady Charmaine. How are you? Good. And the big question is, is America prepared to retire? What do you think? Uh, according to the studies, uh, I don't think so. Two-thirds of us have no financial plan. And this was a study that was done this year by the National Foundation of Credit Counseling. Um, and only 48% of Americans say that they think they've saved enough for retirement. Uh, but only 30% feel that they have not felt so. Uh, you, you got only half the people that feel that they have, but when you really pull the open up that hood of that car and look under there, you, you, you kind of question that they that they really do and understand that they have. Uh, and only forty percent of us keep a regular budget. I mean, that's why we talk about the thirty five dollar latte. People sometimes don't even balance their checking account, uh, let alone have a budget. Uh, and the study has found that uh, only twenty nine percent of us are even saving part of our income towards retirement. So uh, you have an issue here. People are basically are not planning, are not looking and preparing for retirement. They're not even really thinking. They're thinking about it, but they're not doing any taking any action to uh, to fulfill that that need. And and many don't even seek the help of a financial professional. Uh, based on the study, seventy five percent thought that they could benefit from a financial uh, professional, but only 12% have actually seeked out a financial professional to help them. Uh, and, of course, when you consider that, 25% uh, of the respondents that don't seek out a financial professional seek help from family and friends. I mean, we always talk about the water cooler, uh, the party conversation about the best stock tip or the best investment. Uh, program. A lot of people are, are basically doing that, and and alarmingly, only 18% don't turn anyone at all. So they're just pretty much out there. And stock market's been making a lot of drastic uh, uh, ups and downs over the last few weeks, and it's really scaring a lot of people. But uh, you've got to take those blinders off and focus uh, on your retirement because uh, the worst thing you could do is if you're in the market, it's pull it out when it goes down. Uh, you've heard me mention all the time, uh, Mike Tyson has a quite, uh, great quote, Every everybody has a plan until they get hit. And, hmm. and you get hit when when the market drops down and you don't plan for it. Um, and, and pretty much why don't people seek help according to this study? Uh, many people feel embarrassed about speaking uh, about their uh, to a stranger about their personal financial issues. I mean, they just don't feel comfortable in doing that. So it's important. Uh, to find someone you trust and you, you can uh, confide in, but you have to seek that help. It's just like, you know, any medical or legal issue. You've got to think seriously about uh, your retirement and seek some financial help to help you because uh, many of the retirement and 401k plans now, there's no more pensions. Or, uh, the pensions are few and far between where uh, the company prepares and, and gives you a pension once you retire. Now it's with a 401k or an IRA or 403b where you have to make the investment decision on where your money goes. And you can't, without professional help, you can't do that. Um, and a lot of uh, people feel that, uh, according to the survey, uh, that they just basically uh, don't look uh, and, and think about financial future. And when uh, we always do an analysis with our clients and letting them know uh, how, they pro how they're progressing, I mean, uh, income is one thing, but expenses is something else. I mean, we talk about it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. So uh, we kind of focus where, where, in, in retirement planning. Also, you want to grow that income and grow that, uh, have that income, but you also need to be aware of your expenses and, uh, you know, obviously, you know, reduce those expenses, uh, expenses in addition to increasing that income. And that's all a part of uh, planning. So you, you got to define your goals and lead to definite plans. And that's where a written plan, uh, if you write it down and you can see it and you can understand it, you can, it helps you focus more. And that's where uh, the true planning part is. You, you, you've got to define those goals. And you've got to know where you are uh, to decide where you'll be uh, at retirement. So uh, the key thing that I have for the audience is how much planning have you done? Uh, seek out uh, a professional fi financial advisor. 
to help you in this planning. You, you can't go and hope it's not going to happen unless you take action. And that pretty much is the whole thing here. We, half of Americans are not prepared to retire, and, and many don't have a clue, but they've got to take action to help themselves. You know, you said some points, and you are so right. People do have a fear of talking about their money to strangers. And I wonder if it's because that maybe sometimes they think that individuals may think that they have more than what they really do have. And they just don't want to be talked about <laughs> because they haven't been a good, you know, financial steward. Sometimes people think, well, I don't need to save right now because I need my money right now. I think that's one of the reasons why it's hard for people to save is because they're saving for the future. But it's like, I need my money right now. How do you help people get over that? Well, one of the things that first thing we do and, and we we're not the first thing we have to do is, is get trust from the client. And if you don't have that trust, and we you know, we have the credentials, we have all the degrees, but what we don't talk, we want to reach and, and, and have an understanding uh, of the client. And you've got to get that trust and, and, and show your compassion for that client first before you can do anything for them. I mean, and because people, just the human nature, uh, as I say before, nobody wants to be sold. But everybody likes to buy. And, and what that means is <laughs> that you've got to basically, you've got to get a person's confidence and a person's uh, understand that you're there to help them. Mm -hmm. And, and, and that, that's the first thing that you have to do. I mean, and then people will open up and, and talk about their issues. There's, there's different types of people. There's some people that want to, to keep up with the Joneses. They put up a facade. Uh, they have a champagne taste, mm -hmm. but a beer budget. Mm-hmm. And that can lead to uh, a problem trying to keep up with the Joneses. And, and you have to, uh, at some point, you know, you have an event that's going to cut that income off and you won't be able to, to make that payment on that BMW or that Mercedes. I mean, you'll, they'll come and pick it up if you don't pay, pay, pay them. And, and, and you don't want to be that one paycheck away from bankruptcy, that one paycheck away from uh, hurting up your, your, your credit report. And that's where emergency funds, uh, emergency plans are set up. You know, you should have at least six months of emergency funds set up in, in case you have an unexpected event. But to answer your question, you've got to be able to relate. And, 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 and all financial advisors are not for everyone. So mm -hmm. uh, the audience needs to pick someone that they feel comfortable with, that thinks that they're not trying to impress them about this credential, that mm -hmm. credential, what they know. They really are listening to what they're saying and have an understanding. And once you do that, I, I found in my 26 years of experience that that, uh, that, that, that works uh, quite well. But you've got to relate. Just like any other doctor, I mean, you don't want to have a doctor, you know, at least I wouldn't, touching me that I don't think has my best interest at heart. And uh, it's the same thing in financial planning. Yeah, because, I mean, no one wants also a broke financial planner. I need you to help that, me right. get something. <laughs> you know what I mean? You broke and you struggling and you want to help me with my finances. Talk about sit down, baby. Let me help you with your finances. Let me tell you where you need to move your money. No, you do that for yourself first and then you help me. Absolutely. And that's why they have websites that you can go and check the, the credentials and you know the the background of your financial advisor if you don't know one. Uh, you know, when we talk about, you know, you, like you can get referrals. A lot of my clients are referred to me uh, by people that have had a, have had a successful experience, and, and that's a good way. I mean, because uh, you know, you want I mean, like you have a doctor or lawyer or whatever, you you're referred, and that that way you know because somebody has a, had a positive experience uh, dealing with with that individual. But you've got to take action. You've got to find something. You just can't sit and hope things are going to happen because this. As you've seen in the last few weeks, this financial market uh, is going ups and downs, and I mean, with issues in, in all across the world, not only in this country, all across the world is impacting. And uh, you've got a plan. I mean, it's, impact, it's impacting people's 401ks, and uh, they've got to be able to understand and, and know how to manage that because if you just can't keep it in cash. You just can't keep it in a stable fund on the average. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to be able to diversify it. And if you can't or have that ability to do that, uh, that's going to be a problem. I mean, I mean, when the market was dropping, uh, for a lot of my new clients, they call, they're nervous. The ones that have been with me for a while, they know. You, you ride it out. Like, 
like Tyson says, at the point when you get hit, it's too late. I mean, so you just ride it out. The worst thing you can do is pull your money out once the markets drop because you've already gotten hit. Uh, and that, that's the key thing. You've got to have the compassion and, and, and talk them, talk clients off the ledge, as we like to say in the industry. So uh, <laughs> it, it goes with patience and planning. So. Well, you know, that's really good to know. So if someone wanted to reach out to you, because one thing I do know, you definitely work with a lot of Kaiser Permanente um, employees. And so if, they, if there's anyone out there and you work for Kaiser, Dennis is very well versed in um, your retirement plan. So he'll definitely be a great person for you to talk to. So Dennis, if someone wanted to reach out to you, how can they find you? I, they can give me a uh, look at me on my website at www.dennisgoins.com. Uh, they can also reach me on LinkedIn at Dennis Goins and Associates and my Facebook page at Dennis Goins and Associates. And yeah, we're, we're doing a lot, advising a lot of employees, uh, not only Kaiser, a lot of uh, companies in, in, you know, across California on where to put their money in their 401k. That's very critical because, you know, you don't, you get the real deal when you talk to us. I mean, you might not necessarily get it from necessarily the vendor that's, uh, uh, providing uh, the benefits, but we give you the real deal as far as analyzing the funds and, and showing you what you should do. See, that's great. And I want to thank you so much for just always coming on and just bring, really bringing us relevant content that people can actually utilize today. So thank you so much. Thank you very much, Larry Sherman. Have a good week. You too. Thank you for listening. If you would like to learn more about financial investments, contact Dennis Goins at dennisgoins.com.